are when they're out hacking especially alone sometimes we go in company depends what we've got on but most of the time for this video we go alone and actually a pony like strawberry you would expect you know a lot of the time um that they go in company um just because i suppose with with a pony goes a child riding not always an adult and you know, you're not going to send kids out alone. Although I did when I was a child, my mum sent me out, but we did live on the edge of sort of like a massive um, open, common open moors. So we didn't have to really contend with traffic and things like that. Um, but do you know what? We had to, we just had to do it and we had to ride and that was it. We were lucky to have the horses at home, but we, we weren't lucky enough to have an arena. So we, um, you know, had to take the horses out riding. So, but yeah, nowadays you don't tend to find kids riding ponies out alone. 
but I did say on my description yesterday that you know um, she is 13 hands so you would tend to think that she's possibly going to go as a child's pony but she still could go as an as a petite adult as well Nikki will be quite happy that I've said uh, she a petite adult she'll we'll put herself in that category <laughs> but I actually say this on some of the videos many people ask um, <clears throat> when they're trying to judge the size and they ask the rider's size and I always say Nikki's a really um, a really difficult one to judge that off because um, oh, sorry I'm just going to get my other uh, earphone out um, yeah Nikki's a really difficult one to judge that on because she tends to look the same on no matter what size she rides she tends to be able to ride a 60 in two and now um, and now as you can see a 13 hand pony as well so um, Nick's actually about I don't know 5'4 five, 5'5 five, five, probably 5'5 five, five, I would say um, and yeah as you can see our little strawberry or poppy is actually her correct name is um, carrying her absolutely no problem whatsoever because there's been a couple of people ask about her and they've iffed and hard on size and you know I, I do find that 13 hands to 13 two are a size that people tend to miss out sometimes people sort of have first pony and then they think oh let, let's go and jump up to a 14 two or 15 hand even sometimes just so the horses can last and they haven't got to pass them on um just to, just to stop me in the tracks now just to let you know guys who those of you who are not used to watching these videos as you get around this corner you have like um an, a driveway and gates set off set back off the road and there's dogs behind them so sometimes the horses do just have a look because it does just make them jump so i always say this because sometimes the horses just wander to the middle of the road or you can see the horses having a little look and, and wonder what they're looking at so i try and say that before we um before we do it so as you can see she's she walked out a little bit guys i just pressed the wrong i've tried to zoom in and i cut you off but you can see she's like a millisecond down the road there um yeah us parents how many times do we when we were buying clothes for the kids we think oh buy one or two sizes too big and it will last them people seem to do the same with horses so i do that find that this size does sometimes get missed out and I actually think that's a mistake to be honest um often because you know these po I mean I, I rode my 13 two pony up until I was 14 and if you were competing that that's the age range um and these ponies are a priceless um sort of what's the word um part of of chapter really of a young rider's life because you know they've stepped up from that first pony whether they're coming off a, like a little 11 two or 12 hand or whatever or lead rein or whatever the size and to jump straight up to a bigger a bigger pony is sometimes just too much um whereas a pony like strawberry she's just super safe she's that perfect size they she's not going to be you know they're not going to be over horsed or over ponied and um and she will also last them as well as i say you know she's carrying nick very very easily i'm not going to start discussing weight but nick will obviously weigh quite a bit more than a child would so she is a cracking size um and my advice would be not to miss out this size at all because she's you know i think she's crucial really so she's 13 years old guys and um, there's lots of info on my on my video from yesterday um, very sad circumstances the reason that she is being sold or has been sold to us um, very very sad um, it's just unfortunate that she's looking for a new home she's got she's very very easy she's super easy to do 
and we really are Oh, excuse me we really are looking for a fun you know a, a good home for this good pony um and as i started off this video saying that you know ponies they don't really hack out too much on their own but just look how good she is hacking out on her own i mean this is the first time we've taken her out as well um and it's six o'clock now so you get a little bit of traffic with people coming in to and from work uh, well from work sorry um so I'm going to turn this off for a second guys while I park up and open the gate. Nick might just go for a little trot and canter at the field um, and we'll be back on. Right so this is where we get a, a quick chance to show you them in the open. Oh there you go look at her popping into cans. Can you get that? Can you see her? It's a great chance here that we can just see her cantering in the open space and honestly guys this is about a hundred acre field oh look at her oh well done good girl poppy strawberry <laughs> I have to keep reminding myself to call her Poppy because that's her official name. But guys, you, we call her Strawberry. Okay. Have you got a fly in your eye? <laughs> that We had an issue when we first come in that Nick couldn't move because she had a fly in her eye. Right, I am going to turn this camera off again while I go and turn my car around and follow Nick. Look at her patiently waiting there. Have you still got it in your eye, Nick? Okay then, so to be honest, you've seen her with quite a bit of traffic um, coming up, um, but she we knew she was good in traffic anyway, but it's always good to show on a video. And then you can see how she is in that open field. Now, just a little, little bit of background on her. Um, the lady uh, where I've had her from, she actually um, has a livery yard and does some lessons and things like that. She's used her to teach on. Um, she's been used for all abilities, um, even from absolute beginner um, to lead re from lead rein to coming off the lead rein to first canters. All of that she's been used for. All of that she gets used for the little, the little shows, the little handy pony, um, and she does hack as you can see. Um, and I just think you know it's nice when these ponies get um, a bit of a varied life and that they can hack as well as um go in the school and all of she's been absolutely lovely to handle just lovely um i haven't even known you've got her to be honest loads travels perfect she stands there to have a bath she's had a little feet painted um she's barefoot but you know she's as you can see she's on the um road and she's absolutely fine barefoot i would say if you wanted to do quite a bit of hacking and you've got very stony ground she'd be better with some um shoes on well fronts um if anything anyway um she we have started her vaccinations again she was vaccinated yesterday um what else is there to say I think really with these videos it pretty much uh, you know does it all for you really this is why we we do the videos oh she's walking around the grid this is why we do these videos because i think you know seeing the horses in action and actually seeing them and how they ride and all the rest of it is is far more informative and effective than you know just seeing them um just reading a uh, reading a, an advert or something like that so um you know i do sort of try and give as much info as i can whilst doing the videos it saves the job for me having to write it all down and it means obviously you can have access to it immediately you will know those of you that follow us anyway that having a um pony in is a rarity really for us at CNG. Very, very rarely. You can count on your hands how many ponies in a year that we have. 
and sometimes you don't even need two hands to count that so it's so very few so very few because we're just quite choosy on what we have um you know i understand when you're buying for your kids it's a whole whole other story um and i would never the way i look at it i would not well i wouldn't sell one but i wouldn't buy one I wouldn't buy a pony here at C&G that I wouldn't buy for my child, had my child be, obviously. Not the age he is now. Um, but as a mum, would I, would I buy this pony and would I put my son on this pony? And the answer is absolutely yes. And so that's how I judge it, to be honest. Um, so, as I say, there's very few, the ponies are very few and far between. So when we get one, guys, just know that we are, that this pony is going to be super good. Um, because if they weren't, we wouldn't have them here. We, I just wouldn't, you know, um, I prefer to have the bigger ones and to deal with adults. Um, but yeah, in fact, we've had some pony, the ponies we've had recently, n not quite as small as her. They've been um, sort of 14 hands or so. Um, and they have gone to very novice children and you know what I've heard from both of them one was Tommy and um, one was ha one we had not long ago called Bracken and I've had fantastic um, feedback from them and they're doing great um, guns with their children they're really giving them confidence they're doing everything they want them to do um, and you know for me that's just so rewarding so if you are looking for a nice genuine pony not one that's going to be too speedy she is steady but you know she goes as you can see she's not sort of she's she's capable of doing everything but she is steady um and if you want that sort of confidence giving sort of pony that's sensible it's nice to have around then honestly i wouldn't hesitate because some of the prices at the minute are just through the roof people are just pricing well everything but pricing these ponies sky high if you go onto the pony club pages well i just think they're out pricing a lot of people I, this pony is very um reasonably priced for such a fantastic pony so i really really if you if you're sort of on the edge of your seat and you're not sure what to do i, I I really do recommend you go ahead with this pony because I think she's one of those that if you don't and you miss her you'll kick yourself you'll be looking around um, at the ponies and the price and they're all too sharp or they're this they're that or the other and you'll think oh gosh I wish I sorry everyone Kyle's away and he just rang me <laughs> cut me off um so yeah you will see we'll be doing more and more videos as we do with them all for every day they're here they videoed and they have a new video online um and any more questions anybody wants to ask just feel for free okay so that's our little ride with strawberry today and she has passed with flying colors her hacking out in company flying colors thanks everyone